Okay, we're in Design Space and we're going to go over here and upload our file. So click Upload Image, browse to the folder where it is and we're selecting the SVG file and click Open and that adds here. Um, and then we're gonna go down here and click Upload. So now we're going to click on it in on this page and click Add to Canvas. And as you can see, it adds the cut files as well as the letters and numbers. And the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is ungroup these two layers. So with the bounding box selected, um, and if it's not selected, just click on it and it should show up. Come over to the layers panel and click ungroup. Now, if you click outside of the layers, there's no bounding box. Now when we click the letters and numbers, it's a separate layer than all the layers here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add a name and um, birth stats so you can customize this file. So the first thing that we're going to do is double click on the first letter that you want, which should select one letter. Now I'm going to copy and paste it so that I don't take it um, out of the letter uh, layer. So I'm going to click on, I'm on a Mac, so I click Command C and Command V and it puts it up he over here. We're going to drag it approximately where we want it. We're not going to worry too much about exactly where it is. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing that process, double clicking on each individual letter that I want, copy and paste until I have the whole name approximately where I want it. And okay, now I have the whole name, but you can see that they're aligned kind of, they're kind of wonky. So what I'm gonna do is select every layer, um, every letter, so I'm gonna hold shift and select each letter in the name. I'm gonna go up here to the top menu, click Align and Center Vertically. So now the name is nice and aligned, but I think I want to kind of adjust where this Y is. So I'm gonna click on it and just use the arrow key to kind of move it over. And I might do that with the M a little bit and kind of adjust it until it looks good. Okay, so now we have it um, centered horizontally here, but I also want the whole name to be centered in the middle of this file. So in order to do that, we have to do a couple of things. Um, we're going to click Shift again and select all of the lit letters together. And then we're gonna go over here and click this button that says Combine and we're going to click Unite. Okay, so now those are all one layer. And then what I can do is select this. Um, actually, I'm going to click up here in the corner and select, uh, hold it down while I drag a bounding box just around um, the cut files in the name. So it selects everything here except for the letters. And then I'm going to go up to align again, and I'm going to center horizontally. And you can see it moved the name right nicely into the middle of uh, that file. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add birth stats into the clouds here. So we're using the same process that we used with the name. I'm going to double click on the letters and numbers that I want, copy and paste and move them approximately where I want them. But you can see that they are too big for the space, but that's okay. We're going to um, change that in just a minute. Oops, and see I accidentally made it wider. I'm going to click Command Z to undo that. I don't want it to be wide like that. Make sure you have an arrow there and not the little resize thingy. All right, so 
double clicking and copying and pasting. Okay, so there we go. Um, so again, we're going, we want to align these, uh, but because they're not all uppercase letters, I'm not going to do it the same way as I did the name where I aligned those all uh, centered horizontally. So I am still going to select, um, hold shift down and select each uh, letter or number so that they're all together. And now when I go up to align, I am going to select align bottom. Okay, so you see it kind of bumped him down a little bit. And again, I on this one, I'm going to double click the S and kind of adjust it so that I'm going to move the six over a little bit. So there's more space between the six and that. Okay, so now again, I want to hold shift down and select um, each of the letters and numbers and you can go over here to see if they're all selected you can see in this case I missed that one so I'm gonna hold down command and select that so they're all selected then I'm gonna go down here again and click combine and unite okay and then I'm going to resize it to the correct size so now when I hover over the corner there, um, it resizes everything appropriately. And then I can move it around. Um, you don't wanna get too small. Oops, I don't wanna go up and down. Um, just because, you know, when you're cutting things out. Um, so let's say, oops, see I keep accidentally resizing it up and down I, and I'm undoing that. Let's add uh, three ounces here. Um, click the O and the Z. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing, copying and pasting. Oh, see this, it gets tricky to move them around when they get small. Um, okay. Align bottom and I'm gonna move that over a little bit. Okay, holding shift down and selecting everything, going over here to click combine, unite, and then making it a bit smaller and moving it kind of where I want it. Okay. Let's see, I don't know. I might make them even a little smaller than that. I don't want to get too small, but Cricut's pretty good at stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to um, add up here, double clicking, copy, paste. Okay, selecting all of them. I can also go hold shift down and select each one over here in the layers panel. Click align bottom and then go down here, click combine, unite, and then resize as needed. Oops, not like that. And place. So now we've got the birth stats and the name um, uh, where we want them, exactly where we want them in our file. Um, so now what we need to do is cut them out of this layer right here, the top layer. Okay, in order to do that, we're going to hold shift down and select all of the layers we just made so that they are all one layer so we have everything selected we're going to go down to combine and unite all of them together and then what we're going to do is hold shift down again and click on this top layer here so that it selects everything 
So over here in the layers panel, you should see that all of your custom text um, is selected. And if you scroll all the way down, you also just have this one layer, the cloud layer selected too. So they should both be highlighted, okay? And then you're going to click attach. So right next to combine, click attach. And now you can see that that is all one layer. Now, before we make the file, we have to delete this layer. So just click on the letter layer. You should um, see a bounding box around the whole thing and just hit delete. You're ready to make your file. So go ahead and click make it. Um, select how you're going to do it on a mat is great because we're using cardstock. Click confirm and you're ready to go. Each layer is coordinated with the color um, that's recommended. Now it doesn't always cut in the correct order so it's not going to cut the layers in the order that you're going to build the file but um, each layer except for the top layer has a little number in the corner so that when you're assembling the file you know um, which layers go where. So then you load up your paper and make your project.